If you are going to be sitting exams in 2022, then obviously you are worried about are there going to be exams and how do you catch up everything that you've missed. Um, so in this video I'm going to go through how you can catch up everything that you've missed and what good old Gavin has just announced. So Gavin Williams sent the education to a a big speech announcement in Parliament the other day about exams in 2022. Now if you're going into year 11, your year 10 will have been instructed, your year 9 will have been instructed, so this will be your first full year in education since year 8. If you're going into year 13, your year 12 would have been instructed, your year 11 would have been instructed, so you haven't sat any real exams ever. So this will be your first year in education since year 10. That is a massive amount of disrupted time. And the amount of disrupted time is going to be very individual to each student. Even if the school stayed open, or bubbles stayed open, or bubbles popped, the amount of like time they individually had self-isolate or care for people at home is going to be different for every single student. So there are lots of things that you can do to catch up on this time. Now, if you are watching one of these, this video now, you are one of the dedicated, hardworking students who doesn't leave all of their revision right to the end. And I want to reward you for that. So I'm going to give you 50% off all of my courses. So that is GCSE Science, GCSE Maths, A-Level Maths, um, Instruction to A-Level Maths, uh, A-Level Chemistry, A-Level Biology, Psychology, 50% off using the code that I'll put somewhere around here and it'll be in the description. This 50% off basically stops when people go back to school. So if you sign up now you can use it all the way past exams in 2022. It is only a reward for people that are going to be working hard the whole way through. We do not do 50% off or I don't do 50% off right before the exams because I don't want to reward people that are doing last minute revision. The people that are here now putting the time, putting effort in are the people that deserve to be rewarded with 50% off. So those are the sort of things that I can do to help you catch up on missed learning, giving you easier access to stuff. Now obviously all the videos on YouTube are 100% free, always going to remain free, nothing is happening about that and the PDFs and stuff are going to be like starting at 49p, that's super cheap and I know a lot of people won't like me selling stuff but I do have to do it otherwise I won't be able to eat and I have to go and get a job, um, a real job, I'm not just making YouTube videos and then I won't be able to make YouTube videos anymore. So those are the sort of things that you can do to catch up. Spend your summer just going through the courses, making sure that you've covered everything from all of your disrupted time um, and that you know it really, really well. And there are videos and there are questions to help you do that. Now, Gavin Williamson in Parliament the other day made a big speech about exams in 2022. So I am like 95% that exams are going to happen unless there is a variant that comes out, there's resistance to the, the, the vaccine, so an escape variant, that's what they're called. Now, I don't know if this is going to happen, I don't think this is going to happen, but I'm like 95% that things will be relatively normal by the time we go back to school in September and the whole bubbles popping thing will be a thing of the past because so many people, especially the at-risk people, will have been vaccinated and they will be protected. So I think when we start school again in September, um, things will be normal, you will have a normal year 11, a normal year 13, and we will be able to have exams in 2022. Now, Gavin Williamson made this announcement. Um, he wasn't saying there definitely will be exams, but he says he wants things to get back to normal, and that exams will go ahead, taking into account the disruptions. And the allowances that are gonna be made are probably gonna be similar to the ones that were supposed to be happening for exams this year. So reducing the amount of content that you have to be examined on. So for history, it was only answering three out of the four questions that were on the paper, instead of answering questions on all on four units that you studied. You basically only had to study three units. Um, for things like uh, science, it was removing the need to have actually done all of the practical work and kind of like this, if you can see back here, this is what I've been doing. I've been filming all of the practicals to help you so that if you don't get the chance to do it in school, you can watch my videos of me 
doing it. Um, other things will be kind of like um, telling you a bit more of the questions that are going to be on the exams. So for English, telling you it's going to be on Act for scene two, but not exactly telling you what the question's going to be. So reducing the amount of stuff that you have to revise, reducing the amount of stuff that teachers have to teach you, so that they can actually focus on stuff that is going to be examined. Now, this isn't the same for every single subject. Subjects like maths, it is a lot harder to reduce the amount of content in because generally, everything gets examined every single year across the three papers. And there is no requirement for schools to teach in order so some students will have missed this some students will have missed this so you can't just say we're not going to examine you on algebra because it's kind of like all interwoven and such a big part so for math it's probably going to be everyone's going to be examined on everything um, whereas other subjects like history dropping one of the units for um, geography not doing the field work things like that um, removing the requirements for the, the speaking uh, portion of the exams for English and some of the foreign languages. Now, this is just based on what was proposed for the exams that haven't just happened. Exactly what is going to happen for next year's exams, we still don't know because nobody has made an actual announcement yet. As is the way with the government at the moment, they're announcing things really last minute and they're not telling the people off call the exam boards the schools the people that actually have to do the stuff the people that actually have to put things in place what the announcement actually means and then everyone is kind of like trying to catch up with the announcement that the announcements that the governments are just throwing out kind of last minute so your teachers do not know what is going to happen yet because the the advice from government is still really, really hand wavy that this is going to happen, um, which means off call can't plan and the exam boards can't plan, which means your schools can't plan. So at the moment, there is no official advice on dropping units or dropping coursework um, or dropping fields work. So at the moment, just plan the exams are going to be 100% normal. Okay, um, which means you are going to need to spend a little bit of time catching up, but really really don't want you to spend your summer stressing about this too much because um, I have a plan there are going to be lots and lots of things we're going to be doing to make sure that you are caught up to make sure that you are ready for um, for the exams next year so um, good luck guys please don't stress please don't worry please don't go and ask your teachers what the plan is because they don't know what the plan is um, and I am going to be here with you the whole way through to your exams. I promise. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.